Hello everybody, this is Locke Minecraft. Today I'm going to be going over creating protected regions with World Guard and World Edit. So you're going to need to download these two plugins. The links will be in this description, as well as WinRAR to open the files you download. So you're going to want to open these up, copy them into your plugins folder, and um, there's no real configuration we're going to be doing out of game. So everything else is going to be in game. I will see you in a minute. All right, here we are in game. So we're going to go over how to create protected areas. So say this is someone's house and they want it protected. You're going to want to left click one corner of it and right click the other and everything within those two corners is going to be protected after you define the region. So right now all that's protected is what's within this square or and, and the edges because I haven't made it go up and down at all. If I want it to take up the entire sky to bedrock, I can type slash slash expand vert like that. And if I just want to expand it down a little bit, I can do slash slash expand down 10. Um, no, sorry, slash slash expand 10 down. I did it in the wrong order. But um, it's already at bedrock, so it can't go down anymore. Now, to define the region, you're going to want to type slash region, one slash, because it's a world guard command. World edit commands have two slashes. slashes. Define what you want to call it. We're going to call it simple plot. And the next line is the owners, the people who can build in the plot. So I'm going to just write QUE1124, because that's me. There we go. Now, this region is called simple plot. No one can build in it but QUE1124 and people who are members of the region. To add more people to the region, all you have to do is type slash region, add member, and then their name. So we could add notch, so notch can build, in, well, no, slash region, add member, and then the region name. So in this case, just simple plot, and then the person you want to allow to build in it. In this case, notch. So now notch can build in this plot as well. So you can also remove people from being members with slash region, remove member, simple plot or your plot name notch and now notch can no longer build in it if you want to add other owners you can do slash region add owner and it's the same after that just simple plot notch and if you want to remove an owner it's just slash region remove owner simple plot notch now that's how you add people to regions make them owners and members so now anyone who's a member and an owner can build in the region and everyone else can't. Now there's a few things you're going to want to specify, like can other people who aren't allowed to build in the region open chests? If they are, you're going to want to get into things like flags. Now what a flag is, it defines what people can and cannot do in the region. So for instance, let's type slash region, flag, then the region name, simple plot, and let's type TNT deny. Now this will stop TNT from exploding in the region. So let's just grab some TNT and a redstone torch. TNT, redstone torch, and I will show you how this works. It's going to set off, and in a moment it is not going to explode because TNT is disabled. You can also do slash region flag. Say you want people not to be able to open chests, chest access deny. You can basically set all these flags to deny or allow if you want to deny or allow those things. Now, oh, did I type it wrong? Yes, I forgot to add in my region name. Um, what did I do wrong here? Did I spell access wrong? That would be embarrassing. Yes, I did spell access wrong. Uh, so now anyone who's not in the region cannot open a chest in this region. Um, if you do slash region flag region name, in my case, simple plot, use, this will stop people from using levers, buttons, stuff like that, and pressure plates and you can set it to a deny or allow, I'm going to deny. So now anybody but me that goes into this region cannot use levers. Um, this is the basics. I will link you to a page with all the flags you can do in the description. But this is just a basic overview of how to protect an area with World Guard and using World Edit as well because the two are pretty much, they're developed by the same guy and used for the same things. Thank you for watching. Bye.